been so filled with colors. I feel that gratitude and appreciation today, so I wanted to write about it. There are hard songs also on the album, but they are still with colors. It is a color that has all the colors and uh, is a strong color on its own. That's why also as a black color has always been for me a color that I don't pay too much attention with my presence if I'm wearing black. Instead of wearing pink or red, everybody would be looking, <laughs> you know. Never Enough is a sad story when it comes to that. We filmed this uh, lyric video in Czech Republic. We actually we were there filming DVD from my classical concert Beauty and the Beat. So I had the opportunity to film this lyric video, sort of. It's not a music video, but it's a, it's a teaser from the future, from the album now and uh, only for my fans to see. Yeah, for example, the songwriting process this time took me more or less two and a half years because I was touring so much with my What Lies Beneath previous album and every time in between the tours, whether I was in, fin uh, in Finland, yeah, Finland, or in Buenos Aires, Argentina, or, or in Caribbean, or wherever there was a place and time really to sit down and relax and write music, I wrote alone or I invited songwriters to meet with me. And that was the how the songs were written, but then again, to direct my musicians, I started recording the album already June last year. I flew in the drummer and the guitar players, they were working in Buenos Aires with me in the studio. And then after those recordings, the core of the songs were recorded, then I directed the songs to other musicians and they were recording at their home studios. It is nowadays, the situation has changed a lot, that you don't necessarily need to gather around in one room in a studio and play, but but internet is a helpful tool in that sense. I write much more material myself today, which makes me very happy because I've learned enormously in these last years. And, and when it comes to songwriting, I also, I, I feel that I'm coming out of a certain box of security. Like I finally can be explosive and get wild in writing songs, which makes me happy. And maybe that you hear on the album as progressive as a progressive element and uh, then again I write with several writers that I have enjoyed writing with because for me that process is also important because when you write with somebody else there is always that someone else mind involved and it makes things interesting, magic happens. I enjoy doing both. Someone very dear to me told me, Tarja, you should learn to eat only the half package of a cookie, cookie package before the concert, so that you have the half left after the concert. And it made me realize, oh my God, he is absolutely right about it. Because when I perform, I have the audience in front of me and my fans are very passionate about my music. At least as passionate as I am with my music. It is a lot of energy going onwards and backwards and the connection is very important. So then I learned from my mistakes sort of that I really need to preserve some energy for myself. Classical music, my classical background, I'm living with these two worlds so different for many people but for me so similar in that end. Um, classical music is a big influence to me. I was working a lot to get this song there. I was making a research would be what would be the perfect classical piece this time to merge into a format of a rock song. And uh, finally got found, <laughs> you know. When I allow it, to be. it took me years to finally decide that if I dare to do this song or not, <laughs> because I love Peter Gabriel very much. I have been a big fan of his music and art for many years, and it was a really brave step, I think, for me to cover one of his songs. But I want it really, when I do a cover, I really want to 
work hard on the song so that it makes me feel that it's one of my own songs. I've read all of Paolo Coelho's books, I'm a huge fan. We've been trying to meet. Uh, he's been trying to come to my concerts. When I've been in Brazil, we've tried to meet. Every time something comes, we haven't been able to. So one day I really hope to meet him in person. <laughs>